In this section, we're going to take a look at product attributes and variations. This is an incredibly important section because it's pretty rare that your store won't use attributes and variations. Attributes are useful when searching for and filtering products. There are some WooCommerce widgets that help users filter products. So if you give attributes to a product, well then users can filter by using those attributes. Variations are useful because they allow users to choose different options on their product page. This means you can sell a t-shirt in different sizes and colors. Of course, you're going to want to do that. You can do this by using one product with a few different variations. And this is really great that WooCommerce does this. You don't need multiple products. We're including both attributes and variations in the same section of this course simply because they often rely on each other to work effectively. We're going to start by creating attributes because that's an essential first step before creating variations. So in this video, we're going to set up our attributes. If you're not there already, go into the back end, click on products and click on attributes. By default, there are no attributes set up in the WooCommerce store. We're going to create a name for our first attribute. Let's call it styles. As you probably know from WordPress, slugs are created automatically. And so we'll just let WordPress handle that for us. Click Add Attribute. And so we have our first attribute. The next thing we need to do is configure the terms. We're going to add three types of styles. Let's add the first style called Polo. The second style as Circle Neck. The third style as U Neck. I think those are pretty self-explanatory, but if they're not, you can always put a description in here. So we have our three styles. Let's go back to attributes. And now you'll see we have our three styles, circle neck, polo, and u neck ready to go. In the next video, we'll set up our first variable product.